Ganskudag Police Detention Center, Ulan Bator. Conditions here are grim. Built to shelter 240 detainees, it's crammed with up to a thousand people. UN Human Rights Commissioner Mary Robinson came to see the conditions for herself when she toured the prison on Wednesday. There's no central heating, running water or sewage system, and funds are so short that detainees often fight over food. Mrs. Robinson was free to visit any cell and speak openly with prisoners about their treatment and conditions at the facility. Detainees are sometimes forced to stay for up to three years before their cases reach the courts. The government is trying to improve matters, releasing 900 prisoners this summer and shortening sentences as of another 800. There is a willingness to tackle this problem and I would like as High Commissioner to support both the need to change the physical conditions and to improve training of those involved. But with the economy stagnant and unemployment figures high, many youngsters have no choice but to turn to crime or prostitution. The lack of money means the nation's 30 prisons are at the bottom of the list of social priorities in desperate need of change.